Mayor Ruben Villarreal from Rio Grande City. Rio Grande City! Uh, joining us in the studio, Ruben, thanks for stopping by. It's good to see you, my friend. Thank you for having me. Appreciate so, it. So we continue the conversation on this surge of humanity coming in from Central America, all these illegal immigrants coming in with their kids and the kids coming in by themselves. And what have you seen in Stark County today? Uh, Stark County, Rio Grande City is an epicenter for immigration. It has for decades. And this is very, very not something new for us. It's it's something we're common uh, commonly in see. But for example, immigration, what we're seeing perhaps a month, maybe a month and a half ago was w women and children and family units. And that was very prominent. That did cause a crisis because nobody knew how to handle that. But what people sometimes forget that the the backbone and the or the blind share of the people crossing are still young men ages 17 to probably 45. And they still come in in groves and we're still seeing a lot of that mm -hmm. movement. And there's a lot of things that happen a lot of uh, different circumstances that happens with that versus the family unit who gives themselves up hyper because they do give themselves up. Yeah. How is law enforcement in Stark County and your city responding? Law enforcement, I will give them kudos because I just saw chief folks walk out of here out of, out of Border Patrol. Mm -hmm. The communication that exists between Border Patrol, Rio Grande City Police Department and Texas DPS has been magnificent. I've seen them be compassionate and I've seen them be a law enforcement uh, force, but they do not at all, at all, uh, hold back on trying to do their job and that their, their job right now is securing communities and securing this country. And they take it very seriously. And I'm very happy to have them. Rio Grande city mayor Ruben Villarreal in studio here at 710 KURV. From what we hear, mayor Western Hidalgo County is probably going to see a lot of the national guard soldiers. Do you expect you're going to see many in, in your neck of the woods? I certainly do. I'll, I'll tell you what, Tim, it's, uh, but people don't realize it's nothing new for, for us. We had them in, in our area two years ago. I worked with them. I worked with their meetings. I I uh, spoke to many, many of these soldiers. It's a very unique soldier. It's not your typical run and gun and let's fight an enemy soldier. They're adaptive, and they're there to do a job, and they're very, very wonderful people. That's why when they say National Guard, you think of, of a soldier, and they say militarization. I don't see it. I see it as more of a using your resources and the situation is is presents itself where it's necessary. And this soldier is adaptive. They went to my community events. They went to my to my community events often. And the trouble I had with these young men and women to have them sit down and enjoy a feast of sharing dinner was incredible. They wanted to help out, but they're they're a great bunch of people. The humanitarian need that has been provided uh, for here in McAllen. Uh, how's that working out in Stark County? Are you bringing folks down here, or what do you, uh, you know? Because I know you're getting people like that over there too. That the quest that question has come up before, and, and let me tell you, I spoke to Border Patrol. You saw him walk out of here. The chief I met with their uh, hierarchy in in Stark County, meaning of the Rio Grande City sector. We don't see a lot of that. I I do know that, for example, the Catholic Daughters and some of the church organizations did come down here to McAllen to help out. But we don't have a lot of that because when they're picked up and detained, they're taken to the Rio Grande City Station, and it's really just a temporary place to be while they get to McAllen, and then McAllen become, becomes a big location. But Border Patrol has, has been a very compassionate element. You know, they've managed to to still do their jobs very difficultly, uh, but at the same time uh, keep the humanitarian and the compassion. McAllen and Hidalgo County did a magnificent job for the the effort in there to be applauded. But I, I can't go uh, to that extreme without remembering my circumstance where border security is still an issue. We we have a lot of DPS troopers. Yeah, we're, we're going to get. Gonna ask you about that. Yeah, yeah we we got the Aerostat satellite. Would you like for them to stay, the DPS guys, once uh, all this surge is gone? I will tell you what. Everybody behaves. Nobody speeds in my town, yeah. including myself. No, everybody reminds themselves to be extra good. Yeah. Uh, they're not a bad element. I will tell you that once you get used to having them around all the time. It keeps everybody super duper honest. I kid you not, Mayor. Every time, it, it without fail, every single time, for the several times I've gone west to Rio Grande <laughs> City, every day I've been passed by a high speed chase, DPS <laughs> chasing <laughs> someone. I'm going, okay, one of these days I'll be able to have just a normal trip to Rio Grande City. <laughs> what is it about the western portion of Hidalgo County I, and going I, into Stark County? What's going I, on? I will tell you something that. I will tell you something that, for the most part, uh, the what you're talking about, high speed. I haven't seen that myself, uh -huh. Sergio. So I don't know. Maybe you. It's but a those, I need to ride with you. Points. Yeah. <laughs> those, La Jolla and points west are yes. major crossing points. I, I will tell you that the movement that you see, you do see movement of all sorts. Some of it, uh, of course, is is illegal, and that's what they they try to key on. And yes, I've seen that. But yeah. the the surges is, is such an overwhelming uh, law enforcement net that I want to say that they're capturing an awful lot and they're doing a lot towards the 
side of border security and keeping communities safe because at the end Are of the day, that's what it's about. Catching more immigrants than drug smugglers or both? Or what do you see? It, for a while there, Tim, it was it was very challenging. I saw more of the the uh, catching the immigrants or, or detaining immigrants and handling them. Now I see a transition back to the law enforcement okay. side of getting out there and, and trying to do their job. little love for you, Mayor, before you take off uh, this morning. Suele, suele, suele. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can be my cowgirl. Down, down. Okay, you got your cowgirl here with you. She's uh, in the she studio. He's the real deal cowboy. I Mayor try. of Rio Grande City. Ruben Villarreal. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Sergio, Tim, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having we'll me. We'll talk to you soon. It's